Hi friends, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to make a different breakfast, a delicious breakfast. Don't mind my face, I just got done with my workout, so I'm starving and this is quick and easy and delicious and tasty. We are gonna be using these star of the shows today. They are the Trader Joe's hash browns. Find them in the frozen section. We're gonna fucking spruce them up. You're not gonna have a bland ass breakfast. It's gonna be full of flavor. We're gonna make like an egg hash scramble with onions, so keep on watching. We're gonna start with a pan. I'm gonna put your choice, avocado or olive oil in there, just enough to cover the bottom of the pan and we are gonna start to sear these delicious hash browns. While they are browning, we are going to cut up just a little handful of onion, just chop it up into bite-sized pieces and we are gonna mix our eggs. So at this point, it gets important. I usually like to mix uh, two eggs per one hash brown. I have here cooking two hash browns, so I'm gonna mix four eggs because I'm gonna share with my family and I'm gonna eat myself. So when they start to brown and they get soft around this point, I'm gonna just break them all up. Mash them up, kind of just, you know, use a spatula to break everything up because I don't want them to be full hash brown pieces. I need them to be small. I need everything to fry and to get nice and golden brown because that's where the flavor comes in and it's gonna mix really well with what we're about to do this point when they're all broken up we're gonna add up our cut up onion so we're just gonna sprinkle that on there mix it integrate it all together and wait for the onion to also get a little bit of caramelization going we don't want them to be super translucent because I still want that nice onion crunch but we also don't want them raw so we're just gonna mix it in there see how it's all looking nicely integrated can't really distinguish between the hash and the onion that's where we want to then add our egg scramble so just gonna put it in there no need for salt the hash browns are already salted which is great um, because it's full of flavor already so all you got to do is just mix and at this point just mix non-stop mixing it all around uh, I have really bad pans <laughs> everything sticks even though it says it's a non-stick so this is why it's looking kind of more stuck to the pan more than usual but if you have good pans, it's not gonna look like this. Just continue to scramble, continue to mix nonstop until the egg starts to get cooked. So as you can see, I'm putting a little bit more force, like I said, because my pans suck, but I'm just mixing it nonstop. We do not want the egg to be gooey. See, it's still not ready, so we're gonna give it a little bit more of a mixture. And in a few more seconds, it's gonna start looking like this, all integrated, no real moist spots, and it's ready to serve. Here, I just wanted to show you because I like my little baby's tiny hands. Can eat it with a tortilla, sour cream, or avocado on the side. That's it, friends. It was a super easy breakfast using these amazing hash browns that are already pre-made. All you got to do is heat them up. I just uh, wanted to show you guys a different way to prepare them. No loss of flavor. Um, Multi-use for a single product. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And let me know in the comments any other recipes you'd like for me to show you how to make. Bye.